him before I, you know, brought any knowledge to you guys' attention. I didn't want to talk about a character that I didn't really know how to play. I actually wanted to give you guys a nice guy that you guys can, you know, start off with Rashid and, and start playing him yourselves. So before we get into the video, I would say if you want more content like this, let me know what you want to see down below. I can do more guides, more gameplay, uh, whatever it is you guys want to see. And I appreciate you guys so much showing love on all the videos. It truly means a lot to me. But uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so Rashid. Um, real quick, I, I I do this in every video. We talk about the light buttons first. Um, so uh, surprisingly enough, his crouching light jab is not his four frame. It's his stand jab. Stand jab is the four framer. Same thing with his uh stand light kick. These are both four frames. Um, the total durations are a little bit different. So if you want to use either or for frame kills, uh, you just have to swap which one you want to use. Obviously, um, as far as range range is concerned, stand light jab actually goes a bit further. I haven't really found too much use for a stand light kick. So anytime I want to use stand light kick, I really just opt for a stand jab. It's just better in every every situation, it seems like to me. Maybe besides um, one thing I will say, maybe in like block strings, because uh, stand light jab actually does push very far back in block strings. Like uh, you can only get two in a block string, like, as you can see. In this stand light kick, you can almost get four of them in there uh, before you're out of range for the next one. So it's something to keep in mind when uh, making block strings. But um, also this this uh stand light kick you can't gatling like you can't gatling into another uh light button like you're just, just kind of stuck. Uh, actually, I lied. It seems like you can kind of gatling into this. It seems that way, but it's not. It's just not the case. Uh, but your stand jab you can gatling into this. You can you can go stand light jab really fast, or you could do stand stand light jab into crouching light kick. Like all this gatlings into each other. Like all the like every every stand light jab or light kick will gatling into the other as long as it's not stand light kick pretty much. But Anyways, stand light jab, four frames, this four frames, and two five framers are the crouching light jab and the crouching light kick. Um, as far as like uh, light confirms go, pretty simple, jab, jab, jab into light wind. This leaves you plus two, which is not that great, and you're kind of far away, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. I would recommend anytime you ever hit the stand jab to try to go into medium uh, spinning mixer. Uh, it gives you, your plus 31, it gives you um, a nice little situation after. I'll show you guys right here. So on wake up, you're, you're, you're plus 31. So on wake up, if they if you drive rush forward and they mash throw, you'll be able to get the tech. So you're, you, I can drive rush in and get some throw key there. Or if I think they're going to tech, I could do a little shimmy, you know, same thing. Um, or you could just do jab, jab, jab here and then run up meaty. That works too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what you would use your light buttons for. Uh, real quick for a light block string uh the best block strings that i found is kind of like stand stand jab crouch jab stand jab it's pretty good since you get three of them you can't get three stand light jabs unless they all hit um so like if your opponent is blocking let's say let's make a block here this will work on block and it works on hit but this does only works on hit and not on block so this is like the route that i usually go for uh other good routes is like um this uh, so stand jab, crouch jab, stand jab, or stand jab, crouching light kick, stand jab, since it's a low hit. So if you want to do like jab into throw, maybe uh, force like a strike throw situation, it's a lot better. Um, it's good for catching like walk backs if they're trying to walk out of throw range, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much what it's, uh, what it's designed for. Um, and lastly, I want to say that stand, li none of your, um, the only, none of your like, Light buttons go into light um, eagle spike unless it's stand light kick. Stand light kick is the only one that goes into eagle spike, which is pretty much the only use that I found for it. So if you could like find a way to pretty much get stand light kick in your combos, then I would say you could try to go for that. But it's kind of hard because it doesn't have as much range as stand light jab, so it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, pro it's probably good for like four frame punishes uh, that are pretty up close. So if you want to do like a stand like kick into eagle spire that works too or eagle spike i don't really know what the move's called next we're gonna talk about medium buttons his medium buttons are actually pretty good um so we've got stand medium punch this is six frames um at three active so it's pretty good three active frames six frame startup not bad at all can't complain um it also has a target combo attached to it and after the target combo you can send a projectile or after the target combo you can do spinning mixer uh, medium spinning mixer you don't get much damage pretty much at all from either of these routes so um i would recommend that every time you get the hit with this move you should try to um look for eagle spike uh, i'm just gonna call it eagle spike because i don't even know if that's the name of it or not but it sounds like he's saying eagle spike so i'm gonna say eagle spike um but yeah medium uh combos with eagle spike 
Um, that's that's the the button that I use the most for combos. Like I'll do dry brush medium medium this, or you could do dry brush medium heavy into this. That works too. Uh, heavy is the better route because you get more damage, obviously. Um, but yeah, six frame six frame startup pretty good. Same thing with crouching medium punch, but this is a little different. Um, they both have their uses. Stand medium punch hits slightly further, but stand uh, crouching medium punch is more active. Um, and this is good for uh, meaties on block, like in the corner. I got a setup I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, but this is, this is good for meaties, and this is pretty much good for combos. And like I said, I got the target combo attached to it. Um, and, but what you should be doing after the tar target combo is sending out the uh, the EX uh, 214. I don't I don't know what this move is called. Let, let, let me get some move names in here, because I'm not going to lie, I, I can't just, you know, can't wing it that long with uh, these moves. Okay, so it is Eagle Spike. Okay, but... So spinning mixer, eagle spike, whirlwind shot, which is the uh, projectile, and Arabian cyclone. That's what it is. Okay, so I'll just call it cyclone. Um, so medium heavy target combo into ex cyclone works, and then you have to do run. Um, what is it? Uh, run light kick. Uh, yeah, that, that's something that he also has that I didn't speak about yet, but we'll we'll talk about it in a second. He has a lot of stuff to talk about, so this is definitely going to be a two part series. I'm definitely making this a part two for this one. Um, but so uh yeah he has the medium yeah like medium punch um the crouching medium punch like i said is good for meaties and it's plus four on hit so you can get stand jab afterwards if you're close enough that works but if you hit a midi you'll get more active frames so you can press bigger buttons uh, same thing with stand medium punch this is five frames uh you have um yeah, yeah you're plus five on hit so you still you still get the stand jab this still works um you don't really have a five frame button that you want to combo into or combo off of. It's everything that goes that far is pretty much four frames. So stand jab is the, well, it's probably the best button you could press. It's probably like your optimal like conversion off that. Um, uh, real quick, we're going to talk about the kick buttons. So stand medium kick. This actually is not special cancelable, but it is a very good button. It goes very far in neutral, uh, n not too long to total duration. So you can kind of throw it out. And if it hits a drive impact, you should be able to drive impact back if you're mashing the button um it, like i said it goes pretty far like you said look, look you just kind of spam it uh one thing to note about it is that on counter hit no it's not counter hit it's on punish counter that's what it is so on punish counter you can actually go into level one so combo but it, it, it i think it whiffs on crouching opponents let me see i'm not too sure yeah it does whiff on crouching opponents but if you do it like up close like here of course it's still gonna hit but um at the range you're going to be using it to whiff punish you're probably not going to get the, the hit that you want so what you can opt for you can opt for sweep on punish counter if you manage to land it um low forward uh this button right here it, it actually doesn't go very far at all um it's kind of just it, it's still special cancelable though so can't complain low forward into special cancel you, you can never complain about that so yeah uh <clears throat> excuse me so look uh, uh like a normal combo for Rashid would be like, look, like low forward drive rush, stand medium kick. This is probably your best button to go to, uh, to go into after a uh, drive rush, just because uh, if you do manage to land it, you're really plus on hit and also on block is pretty good. So um, it's, it's good. It's only plus one on block, but that I, I feel like it's good because you could just throw them right after. Um, so like right here into throw or right here into strike, you know, it, 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 it just, it just works like as you can see there i got it to work like you know it just it just works i i like it on block but if you don't want to use it you can opt for using something else like you use stand medium punch but the thing about using stand medium punch after drive rush is it's not you're not in throw range same thing with the crouching medium punch you're not in throw range uh but stand medium kick you are so this is the button i've been using um so to keep that in mind uh you also can use jab jab is pretty good because jab is plus three on block if you do drive rush after it same thing with uh the kick Kick is very good on block after drive rush because it is special cancelable too. So if you do this and you run into somebody mashing driving pack, you can still cancel into it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about his heavy buttons. And I'm going to mix in with like the heavy buttons and space traps and stuff like that. Um, so, ooh, actually I lied. One button that I did forget to mention is his forward medium punch. He actually has a forward medium punch. This is a, it's a unique normal. Uh, the first hit is special cancelable so if you do the first hit you can special cancel into whatever it is that you want um the second hit is not so if you do do the second hit you are committed to the move 
Uh, it is minus three on block and minus uh, plus one on hit. Excuse me. So it, it is actually is pretty good to do after um, drive rush as well. Um, not the worst. It's, it's kind of like the same thing as a uh, stand medium kick, except you have to commit af like after the second hit. So if somebody does drive impact it and you do the both hits, you're gonna get smoked. So that's why I like stand medium punch or stand medium kick. Sorry, it's a little bit better in my opinion. But stand forward medium punch does have a lot of uses in his combos, which I'll talk about in a bit. But um, before I do that, we're just gonna talk about his uh, heavy buttons. So stand heavy punch, probably one of his best buttons, coupled with you know stand medium punch, stand heavy punch. These are like your pretty much your farthest reaching buttons. Um, low forward obviously is like slight. I think low forward hits slightly further. I'm not sure which one. They're like almost the same range. I think I think stand stand heavy punch might be a little bit farther actually. Uh, but yeah, one of your best buttons. You can kind of throw it out in neutral and then you know kind of go for your. Uh, the pressure that you were gonna go for anyway and if you see them get hit then you could kind of just go into your moves or go into your um go into your combos um pretty good uh crouching heavy punch this goes further than stand heavy punch but it is not special cancelable it is super cancelable though so if you manage to um to land it like on a punish counter or like trying to get a whip punish you really want to go really far and get that whip punish you can do that into super this does work um a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just kind of throw out a uh, crouching heavy punch and then do level two super That's probably the best bet um, just because it's super cancelable like I said so if you catch somebody doing drive impact or whatever you can still catch them out of that and uh, you know still get whatever it is you want to do so or it, it, it works out for me you guys should try it out it actually is pretty good and if they do block it um, then it's fine on block two and it lets you even do like cool stuff uh, level two lets you do cool stuff, which I'll talk about probably in the second video. I think level two has a few interesting things that I might want to talk about, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely uh, bring it up later on in the video. But we'll we'll get more in depth about everything you can do a little bit later. Um, heavy kick, stand heavy kick is probably his only semi anti air button. It is eight frame active, so it will hit people who are jumping in the air. So like if you manage to catch somebody jumping, this will hit somebody in the air. You can anti air and you can DP after it. Um, sorry, not DP is because this is not a DP. You could do a uh, spinning mixer afterwards. That works. Um, but yeah, 13 frame startup, 8 frame active. It's not a great button to meaty with. Um, I haven't found really any meaty setups with it, uh, especially since on hit, you kind of he kind of like flips very far backward. So if you do manage to land it, you can't really do much after it. Um, it just kind of like. It, it, like for the most part what i found use of it for is like it's a punish counter button because he was heavy dp afterwards or if you want to get fancy you could do other stuff after which i haven't really labbed or found too much of it yet but it, there is something there um but for now what i've just been doing afterwards is pretty much just heavy uh spinning mixer but you, you also could do a uh, medium spinning mixer into ex spinning mixer in the corner uh, like if i land it like here uh, that works it's not the craziest but it's probably like the extent of what i found with that so take take that for what you will um now i'm going to talk a little bit about his space traps so um he doesn't have like crazy it's not like the craziest thing but you know it, it's pretty good so i'll set um this guy to mash on the second hit just so i can show you guys uh the quick light block string that i do sometimes or that you might be able to utilize like that so if, they're, if they mash on the last hit of this block string, it'll be crouch jab, crouch kick, or crouching light jab, crouching light kick, crouching light jab. And if you manage to see the counter hit on, on the uh, the last hit, you can go into low forward afterwards or crouching medium kick. So you can do, uh, 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 and then you can get light spinning mixer and your plus two in their face. So now it's strike those situation. Um, this, do, this does also combo in the corner into this. So you can get your, you know, your full combo, whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, this doesn't work for other uh, like other block strings like here that whiffs same thing if I wanted to do like like that that'll that that'll hit right there because I, I did two of the uh, the jabs but this works this actually works on hit too so if you want to do this on hit this works but I like to do the the low because if anybody's ever trying to walk back out of throw range of you then you'll you'll catch the hit uh, if you just do this and anybody's trying to walk back, they'll just stand block it. So the low is it's better in a block string. Um, yeah. And then that, that that's like a frame trap, but like for a space trap, let's say he wants to mash after the third hit, which is what people will usually do. Um, so right here, you could just press stand medium punch and it will smoke whatever jab that they're pressing. And you could just buffer it straight into, um, into, uh, the Eagle spike because 
If they don't mash, which I'll show you now, so now he's not gonna mash, you'll get nothing. I buffered it into Eagle Spike, I got nothing. But right here, he mashed, I got Eagle Spike. I could also do this into the drive rush um macro that they added. So I could just tap parry and you'll get the, the drive rush right here into a full combo punish, you know. It's a super if you want to kill them or level one if you want to do a different route. But as you can see, it's a little space trap that I have in the corner. You should try it out. Pretty good. Um, his corner game is actually pretty good. After throw, he does get a dash, so he's plus nine in your face. So you have to kind of time the grab after. Not, it's not very hard. You just like dash up, slight delay, and then you grab again. Dash up, slight delay, and then you grab again. It's not very hard. And then afterwards, you can media if you want to. Um, like I said, we have a really good media button in the crouching um, medium punch. So it's not like it's like slight slight delay in media, and then you could get like. Like right there, plus three. Uh, typically, the move is plus one. So right there, I, I hit it pretty meaty. So right here, if I do it again, no, I mess it up. But you get you get the gist of it. You still get the the nice little media. That, that was plus two right there. But if they manage to get hit, let's let's say he's kind of sick of this. He's like, okay, I'm a mash. Right? He's just gonna get hit. I get jab into that, so it works. If you can confirm it, so it, it, you you would get that right whether you meaty it or not. But I'll show you guys a better meaty confirm or a better meaty situation right now actually. So if you manage to get a hit in the corner, uh, like this, right? Um, is it that one? No, it's a different combo. Okay, it's this here. So this into Eagle Spike. This is the combo for you here. That's a much better meaty for it because you get another um, another medium button afterwards, and that leads into safe jump. As you get also, if you want to do like this, you could drop your combo early and do a fully charged um meaty uh projectile this is only good against characters who don't have dps like so like if you're fighting and this is really good against jp so like if you're fighting as jp you do this and then um you do four medium punch and then cancel the first hit into a fully charged projectile and if you get the hit you can go into a full combo like i'm about to do right here so you can do you know full combo whatever you want and if they block it you're really plus in their face anyway but like i said only do this against characters who don't have dps or if they're in burnout or if they have uh, supers that are not projectile involved. You'll start to understand situations you can do it in a little bit better the more you play, but that's just something to keep in mind. Um, now, as far as uh, his, his corner game, like I said, is pretty good. You get like the dash up, you get the meaty, and you can also shimmy after. So that's pretty much what you want to do. He has a throw loop. So, you know, you kind of just sit there and spam the throw loop. But he also has other cool stuff in the corner too. If you ever get somebody that likes to mash on you or whatever, and you get like a nice little call out read on them, if you do run slide, you're actually plus in the corner. You're actually plus seven. So on plus seven in the corner on the side switch, you still get stand medium punch. So you get the stand medium punch into, you know, whatever it is you want to do, which is the combo that I'll show you here. This is like the combo that I've been doing. Into the little shimmy situation I showed you guys before. But yeah. Uh, and if you get it on counter hit, it's even better because you get a bigger button. So on counter hit, you can actually, it's easy to react to since the slide is two hits. And I'm plus nine there after the slide. So I can do heavy punch. All right. Uh, I messed up. I messed up the combo there, but you get, you get, you get the idea. Um, I missed it right there. I missed it right there again. Mm. And then after medium Eagle spike, you also get fully charged projectiles. So. Yeah, that would be the combo there on the slide in the corner. It's it's not like the craziest practical thing to do, but it's still pretty cool. Cool thing to keep note of. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna kind of speed run the rest of this. I'm not not speed run it, but you know I, I spoke about a little bit of uh, stuff here and there. Uh, one, I'll give you guys one last corner combo. It's um, it's a, a lot of his combos are gonna be off the medium heavy target combo, so just get used to it. Um, this right here, this combo that I'm doing is a safe jump. It's very it's very good. You should definitely use this. That's going to be the safe jump route. But if you guys want to spend meter at the end, you just do the um, the cyclone into the kick ender into super. That always gives you level three. But if you guys don't want to spend that much bar, like, or, or you guys don't want to spend your level three, let's say level one is going to kill, um, you could do this instead. You could do this right here. And then after that, you could do a uh, forward medium punch into medium mixer into level one. And it looks like this. So. Pretty good damage, get nearly 3k off of like a medium touch, so can't really complain about that. Um, but uh, another thing I want to say real quick about Rashid is that he's a very good character at getting single hits into a good situation for himself. So right here, I got one hit into Eagle Spike and we're in the corner. We're literally mid screen, one hit into Eagle Spike and I literally took him to the, to the corner. 
this is what the character pretty much wants to do. That's kind of his game plan. He wants to hit you, put you in the corner, and mix you. And his neutral situation is pretty much like sit there, throw a projectile, and then try to DP you when you jump in, uh, obviously. But if they try to neutral jump, you still have the medium spinning mixer. It hits at a really nice angle. None of these are anti-air involves, so just keep that in mind. It's, it's kind of hard to... Um, to not get jumped in on as, as Rashid because you know he doesn't really have a anti-air button all of his crouch buttons are like not really hitting very high up he doesn't really have anything for that so your best bet is going to be the air throw that he has which is uh actually pretty good I've never really played a character with an air throw but his air throw is actually pretty cool uh he does have one so you know just make use of it um or you could do uh cool air to air stuff like um jump medium punch is probably his best air to air button so if like it would work better if the if Jamie was pressing a button, but you could see right there it worked. Um, you could do a jump medium punch into you know uh, ex quarter circle back double kicks or quarter circle back kick ex. I don't know what the move is called, so I'm just gonna call it, call it quarter circle back kick. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit real quick about his other moves or you know lesser known. Well, I'll just run through all his special moves. He has light medium heavy version of the projectile so light version goes nearly full screen it, it goes like pretty much like i would just like to say maybe like seven eighths of the screen it will hit somebody who's standing up if he's crouching this it won't hit but the the medium version it goes a little bit shorter than that it's 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 pretty much designed to catch a jump like pretty much at this range anybody who's jumping in that range and same thing with the heavy version it's very shallow uh, not i guess shallow is not the right word but it doesn't go very far it, it hits pretty almost instantly goes up and every single one of these versions you can charge and if you fully charge it it grants you a tornado and what the tornado does it buffs his movement options so it buffs his dash it buffs his back dash it buffs his neutral jump it buffs his forward jump it buffs his command dash which is this right here his little command hop is forward and any of two kicks um it can uh, side swap um i haven't really found much use of it but it's still there so it's something worth talking about um, you can also like like I said, if you do it through, through the tornado, it buffs it, it, makes it go really far, pretty much in his face at that point. Um, but if you throw it, you, it has a second um, action afterwards. So if I do it and then I press the button again, uh, I'll, I'll jump. And if you hold forward and jump, you'll jump really far forward. If you don't, if you don't hold the direction and jump, you'll kind of just jump like a, you know a shallow, a more shallow distance. And if you hold back, you'll pretty much jump in place. Um, it's pretty good for mixing up uh, your options when it comes to jumping at your opponent and trying to bait out a DP or something. But I haven't really used it because it doesn't go through projectiles and you are able to get counter hit while you're using it. It's pretty slow, so anybody can just like see you, you doing it and just press a button. But there might be some cool stuff with it sooner or later that I'll be able to find out. I know it has some cool stuff mixed in with level two. Uh, that's just stuff I have to lab more when I get more time in with the character. Um, so you see, like, I can make it, like, s s swap size or whatever, you know. Probably cool stuff like that. But um, let's talk about a little bit of his, um, what is this special move called? Let me see. Hold on. Sorry. I just forget the name of his, his uh, special moves. Okay, his uh, his Cyclone, yeah. So Cyclone has a couple follow-ups after it. Um, Cyclone has a back kick follow-up, which makes Rashid travel in the air. And while he's traveling in the air, he can do a jump in. Or he could whiff a jump in and go low. So that's a that's like a little cool option he has. There's setups for it where you could hit like um, the cyclone whiff into a high low mix or high low strike throw mix. You know, you get like pretty much all three. Um, and he also has the follow up off of the mixer where he could do the uh, the kick pretty much. And he has uh, excuse me. And, oh yeah, and that's pretty much it as far as the special moves go. Let's talk about the supers real quick. Um, his level one super is it is projectile invo and it is invo on startup. Um, so I think that's what that means. The uh, the red lines. I'm pretty sure that is projectile invo, but um, you want to use it in combos. So if you ever land any hits, um, you want to just kind of go straight into the level one and try to get the animation because the animation gets more damage. Uh, if you do not get the animation of the level one, like if they're in the air, I'll try to hit it there. Yeah. So if you ever launch your opponent in the air, you won't get the animation of it. You'll just get the flat damage and it's it's less damage than the, uh, the animation. And the animation only occurs when your opponent is grounded. So you want to try to keep your opponent grounded if you're going for the level one. It does swap sides though. So keep that in mind. If you if you if it's going to kill, you should use it and um, put yourself in the corner because obviously you're going to win the round. It doesn't really matter. But if it's not going to kill, you want to try to avoid doing that. 
uh, level two super. Uh, he summons this huge tornado, which also grants you the same aforementioned abilities that this, the EX Cyclone give you, because that grants a tornado, and the charged uh, projectile give you, because that also grants a tornado. Um, this grants you the same thing. It, it buffs your movement options. It buffs your jump. It buffs your neutral jump, back jump, forward jump, whatever it is that you're trying to do. It buffs the um, the command dash. Like I said, same thing. Same thing that I said before, pretty much. But the only difference here is that once this is out, you actually cannot throw a projectile. So you cannot have this on the screen and throw projectiles at the same time. And another thing that happens is that it buffs um, your uh, cyclone move even further than typical. So uh, it actually like. I, oh, I didn't speak about uh, Eagle Spike, but I guess I'll talk about that in a second. Whenever you do level two and you do the Arabian Cyclone, it'll actually kick the projectile. Like it'll kick the level two as a projectile at your opponent. So you can use this for like uh, pretty much chip kill situations, or if you just want to force your way in in neutral against a character like Guile or Luke or anybody with like that's kind of spamming you with projectiles, you can just level two and kind of kick it at them and, and throw yourself in there. Same thing with the uh, the charge projectile. Like if you if you get a cyclone, it not only buffs your movement options, it also buffs your special moves, which I didn't mention before. I don't know why, but we're talking about it now. Uh, so if you do spinning mixer, this is actually like the most insane thing that I've been pretty much spamming in my rank games is if you ever have a cyclone up, which you should be getting up, like if you get full screen, you can throw this and get a cyclone up. If you do spinning mixer, even from full screen, uh, it'll just hit. And if they block it, you are plus there. I'm going to make him stop mashing because we hate mashers. Um, so right here, full screen spinning mixer, I'm plus two. That's insane. It's literally just full screen plus frames. Like I just kind of throw it out there. Um, it also buffs uh, Eagle Spike. Eagle Spike is typically not a move you want to do on block since it is minus a million on block. It's minus 36. But if you manage to do it through a Cyclone while it's buffed, it's minus 15. And minus 15 at this range, is, it's just it's simply just not punishable. You can't. No character in the game can punish this. Uh, I, I might be wrong. There might be a singular character that can punish it. Maybe JP's um, like Spike can, can punish it. But I doubt that. Even if it could, it's still not the worst thing. But so you could pretty much just throw this up and throw yourself at your opponent, or throw this up and kick your opponent, or throw this up and jump. Oh wait, I lied. I'm not jumping. I'm jumping off that, and you whiffed your DP, and now I'm gonna dash in and punish you. Like he has options to just move around the screen that not many characters actually just can deal with. Like the the the, the way that he could just move around the screen is just not it's not meant for Street Fighter players to be able, or Street Fighter characters to be able to deal with. So yeah, that's. It just, it's just really funny to see. Also, what I didn't mention is that he does have a wall jump. Um, it's just something to mention. So if you're ever in the corner, you want to jump out, and you're sick of people throw looping you and then DPing you after the throw loop, you could just immediately jump out the corner. Or you could do, like, um, jump, and then afterwards you could jump back into the corner. Like, you could do a bunch of funny stuff with him. It's really cool. Um, uh, last but not least, we'll talk about the level 3. This level 3 is actually pretty, like, it's pretty slow on startup. Um, but it's immune the whole way so it will be out a lot of things like it'll be out of beat out projectiles um like if guile or luke or you know ryu or whoever is throwing projectiles at you it'll beat them out but it is pretty risky since it is very slow so if somebody can try to meet you with like a jab or something like that and if the jab like the, they'll recover in time after jabbing pretty much and then be able to block the uh the level three just because it's that slow on startup so just keep that in mind when it comes to using level three on wake up. You want to make sure they're pressing like pretty, you know, pretty big buttons when it comes to that. Um, last but not least, I want to just cover some of the counter hit confirms so you guys can just go into your rank games and, you know, play. Um, so stand light, stand light jab goes into stand medium punch. Uh, pretty good. Stand medium punch goes into itself. Um, so stand medium punch, stand medium punch works. Um, now, if you ever do any of the heavy buttons on counter hit, you pr you pretty much don't get anything besides like uh, if you land manage to land crouching heavy heavy punch on counter hit. If you're just kind of throwing it out, you can get low forward. But the range is kind of it's kind of specific, uh, but it is possible. Like you see there, I got it, um, and I get the combo there. Uh, but that's pretty much the counter hit confirms that he has that I was able to find. Um, also, if you wanted to do um, like uh, if you want like a drive rush route, like off a jab. That's uh, after that you get heavy punch or uh, I lied not that one after this you get heavy punch crouching jab after drivers give you heavy punch um, now counter hit on pretty much anything will just counter hit any medium pretty much gives you medium counter hit light gives you medium 
Pounder hit medium, like I said, also just gives you medium. Like he's pretty just easy to pick up and play once you start to like understand how his buttons function. And real quick, we'll talk about the punish counter stuff. Uh, if somebody whiffs a DP or level three or something in your face, what I've been trying to do, I've just been trying to do um, crouching heavy punch on counter hit into stand heavy punch, and this loops into itself. It's like a little pseudo loop, and then you could choose whether you want to do level one afterwards, which is that right there. Or you could choose if you want to do level three afterwards, which is this right here. It's a little bit of a different ender because you get a special move before the ender. So this does work. Um, and let's talk about his jump ins because I didn't talk about that, but I'll we'll just real quick go over it. Um, I'm not going to go over pretty much all the jump ins because they're not all useful. At least I haven't found them to be useful. Uh, jumping light jab is only useful really uh, when it comes to doing um, the whiff light jab part of it. Um, but Jump light kick is useful for the safe jump setup. If you want less plus frames, and you want to be able to grab your opponent really fast afterwards. Stand, jump medium kick is useful because this is his cross up jump button, jump medium kick. And jump medium punch is his air to air button. Uh, and this is his air to -air, air to air button just because you can cancel into this. And you can pretty much get that afterwards. Um, and yeah, that's what that's useful for. Stand, uh, jump heavy punch is double hitting. This is pretty good um but it's it's kind of uh, tricky to use because if you press it late you won't get the second hit and it, i've tricked myself a couple times by doing that so just keep that in mind be careful jump heavy kick is probably his best jump in when it comes to actually jumping on on the opponent so try to use that one the most and he has jumping crouching heavy punch and this one is uh interesting jumping because you'll bounce off of him like mario or something you just kind of bounce off him and jump so uh, it's something that, to keep in mind when it comes to you know using jumping in the corner, especially if your po opponent doesn't know how to deal with it. You can kind of just jump on them and then jump up and then jump off the uh, <laughs> the little wind cyclone. You see, I'm just kind of just doing stuff right now. I'm just just doing whatever. Like you can kind of just uh, freestyle a little bit with this character. But that's pretty much what I got for you guys for now. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm already pushing like half an hour. I, I spoke about a lot. I hope you guys learned anything in the video. Um, uh, part two is going to be coming soon when I get I'm going to have some more combos and more setups and pretty much more of everything for you guys so we could talk more in depth about the character but I want you guys to be able to just understand a little bit how the character works what's what his game plan is and uh, pretty much like I gave you guys like a sample combo or two and some counter hit stuff so I hope you guys enjoy the video I'll catch you guys in the next one y'all take it easy peace